Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today I want to show you a little tutorial how I create motorcycle adventure routes in Google Maps and create them to a GPX file that you can use on your phone in a navigation app or you can plug into your GPS. So Google Maps to GPX, that's the theme of this thing. Let's get into it. Uh, a couple things before we get started. You'll see that I have a, a pin or a starting location in Pine, Idaho. And my first pin is actually up here by the town of Featherville. So I'm using the Idaho Backcountry Discovery Route kind of as a reference to show you guys how I create these routes. I and mean, I'm very familiar with that route. I've ridden it a number of times, so I kind of know where I'm going. If you're creating your own routes in places you've never been, you're not going to be familiar with the roads or the terrain, so it's going to take you a little bit longer. But I'm going to show you step by step how we get this done. A uh, couple things here. When I'm creating these routes, I always like to be in satellite view. And also, I like to look at the map in 3D. Why do I do that? Really simple. I want to go on the best rides. I want the most unique terrain, vistas, canyons, rivers, whatever the case may be. I want the most draw, dr excuse me, I want the most jaw dropping ride imaginable. And I think for the most part, you guys do too. 99% of the time. Now, sometimes we've got to get out to a place to get fuel or to find lodging or a campground or whatever. And sometimes maybe you've got to skip, uh, you know, a, a spot on the map. That's fine. But I'm still going to show you how to get from point A to point V. And again, convert this thing to uh, a GPX file. So here's the trick. I like to drop pins. Some people will possibly select things like Paradise Hot Springs on the map. If Google hasn't placed that on their map themselves, when we go to convert the file, it won't convert right. And you will not have a GPX track, and that's really what we're after. So my advice, we get to add destinations over here. We can add up to 10 in this area. My advice is to just drop pins. So really the trick here is to go intersection to intersection and drop your pins and not give Google an option to show you a different route shorter route, best route, whatever. This is your route, you kind of decide where you go. So left side of the screen, we click our choose our destination, we drop our pin, okay? And the blue line follows. And it's really simple from here on out, guys. Find the next intersection. Again, I'm really familiar with Idaho BDR. Here's my next intersection. Choose my destination on the left side of the screen, drop my pin, voila, we've got a track forming or a route forming right now. On to the next intersection, which is way over here. Add destination, left side of the screen, drop my pin. Now, if you've ridden Idaho BDR, you're really familiar with this intersection. If we continue on to the right up this direction, we'll stay on the Idaho BDR. If you hang a left, it's a really cool out and back ride to Trinity Mountain and the Trinity Lake. So zoom out, show you some of the terrain. You can literally ride to the top of this peak, or at least you can ride right here and walk up to the lookout and overlook the lakes. If you've never ridden the Idaho BDR and you're going to go, I highly recommend you go ahead and make this little out and back ride. Make it a part of your day. Make it a part of this section. Back on route. And for the sake of this demonstration, we're just going to continue on. And again, it's really simple, guys. Find the next intersection which is a ways over here. It's actually right here. Left side of the screen, add the destination. Click on the map where you want to drop your pin. Now, you, on the Idaho BDR, you could take a left and go down here and drop into the middle fork of the Boise and uh, pick the route back up. But the actual track, the actual Idaho BDR route goes this way. So we're going to stick with that. On to our next intersection. Left side of the screen, you guys see this, add destination, drop my pin, and there we are. Now, for those of you who may ride this route in 2020 and you're just following the tracks, here's a heads up. Right here on Pfeiffer Creek Road and Buck Creek, there's a pretty substantial slide. In fact, it was so substantial in 2019, I had to turn around and reroute our Sprinter, Sprinter van, chase vehicle, whatever. Um, 2020, snowfall, runoff, coming down this canyon, I'd wager to say that that road may not be there unless somebody gets out there and fixes that. So just a heads up, you may have to find an alternate route around um, this, this Buck Creek, Pfeiffer Creek Road area. 
in 2020, which would be really unfortunate because as we continue on, you guys can see the magic of the Idaho PDR. Just riding in the mountains, really great roads. I mean, check out this section. See if I can rotate that. But look at these switchbacks dropping down to the Middle Fork of the Boise. It's just amazing. Now, speaking of the Middle Fork of the Boise, here we are. This is actually a cool spot to stop, take in the river, cool off. Whoa, oops, that shouldn't have happened. Excuse me, guys. I kind of lost where we're at here. Yeah, it happens. You're going to make some mistakes in the maps from time to time, but let's get back down to the middle fork of the Boise and drop our pin. Add destination. There we go. The track follows. Now we've got to wander down the middle fork of the Boise a ways, and this is probably one of my favorite sections of the Idaho BDR, just rolling down the river here. It's beautiful. You're sandwiched in between mountains. There's hot springs along the way. You can pull over. And I'll tell you from experience, I rarely see anybody out here. Left side of the screen, add destination. Here's our next intersection. There's actually a couple motorcycles it looks like right here. I wonder if that could be me. <laughs> I doubt it, but who knows when that image was taken. Now again, left side of the screen here, we know we get 10 pins to drop. So I'm going to drop one more for this demonstration. The route actually goes up and over this little uh, mountain range. And if you've ridden the route, you know we wind down here. This is pretty steep. Drop in on the middle fork of the Boise to this landmark, which is known as the 50-inch wide bridge. And that's where I'm going to drop our pin, right here. Our last pin, right on the 50-inch wide bridge. Zoom out, and you guys should be able to see the track that we've created thus far. The thing about the being able to only put 10 uh, pins in, look, it's going to limit the mileage you can ride, and that's going to depend on the number of intersections in your route. That's fine. Create this track, pick up where you left off, create another one. You guys know and I know if you've ridden this route, um, the the track or the route continues on up to Loman, Idaho, up to here. You go ahead and save this track and then move on and create another one. So we've got our 10 pins in. Come over here to the menu, click menu, click share or embed the map. We're going to copy this link right here. And then we're going to visit this website right here. And this is the only one I know of that does this maps to gpx.com fitting name but all we're gonna do is paste our link that we got from Google Maps over here right we copied our link we've got a link click let's go and let's watch up here there you go we're downloading this in a GPX track format now so we can zoom out and I'm using a Mac I'm going to go to my downloads there's the track and here's what I do once I've got my track downloaded I just send it to my phone using a Mac is really nice because I can just voila airdrop it to my phone and that will actually open in the GPS app that I use which is called GPS tracks and I highly recommend you guys navigate with that app at least for the time being it's the best one I've found so I'm gonna cancel this and I just want to thank you guys for watching this tutorial one more quick plug if you're not a listener every week I've got new episodes Ben Motorcycle Adventures Podcast. You can find that on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, YouTube, you name it. I'd love to pick up some more subscribers. Um, would love to hear your feedback about the podcast. Every week we've got guests, we've got stories, or we've got tutorials like this. So again, Ben Motorcycle Adventures Podcast. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks for checking out this tutorial, guys. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.